The Biden administration awarded a $2 billion green energy loan to a Nevada company that recycles electric vehicle batteries, according to reports. Recycling venture Redwood Materials, which was founded in 2017 by Tesla former chief technology officer Jeffrey Straubel, who secured the $2 billion conditional loan from the Energy Department's Advanced Technology Vehicles Manufacturing Program, a tongue twister, according to the Associated Press. The company said it is planning to build a $3.5 billion battery materials campus in Ridgefield, Nevada, that will recycle, refine, and remanufacture cathode and anode materials, such as nickel, cobalt, lithium, and copper. The Ridgefield facility aims to begin recycling late next year and ramp up component manufacturing capacity to 100 gigawatt hours by 2025, enough to supply battery materials for more than a million electric vehicles that the company stated. The Ridgefield facility is expected to supply battery materials to Ford Motor, SK in Kentucky, Toyota Motor in North Carolina, and Volvo and Envision in South Carolina as part of their expansion. Can we really recycle every electric vehicle battery? I'll tell you right after I remind you to subscribe and click that little bell for notifications so you don't miss anything. We give you more than car reviews and first looks of new vehicles. We give you car smarts because knowledge is power. Redwood Materials claims that its battery recycling facility in California has been a success. Redwood Materials is in the lithium ion battery recycling business, and they are in the process of discovering the best way to reuse the materials inside batteries that are no longer serviceable to make new batteries without having to mine and process new materials. A great idea. Over the past year, it has collected used lithium ion and nickel metal hydride battery packs from Toyota, Ford, Volvo, and Volkswagen, as well as from auto dismantling companies. Redwood has accepted 1,268 battery packs from 19 separate battery electric vehicles and hybrid models, which presents challenges to recyclers as every pack is designed differently and cell formats are different as well. Redwood Materials was able to identify and recover end-of-life packs totaling approximately half a million pounds of materials. High-quality battery materials for anodes and cathodes are already being produced there and are being supplied to battery cell manufacturers in the U.S. The company states that lithium-ion represented the majority of the material types collected and they expect it will continue to grow as it is now the only type of vehicle battery on the market. As of today, the recycling process is already profitable for smaller batteries such as those found in consumer devices and production scrap. Redwood also accepts batteries from old phones, laptops, and alike. Battery recycling is expected to become increasingly important in the coming years as EV battery packs start reaching end of life. The Inflation Reduction Act tied to the EV tax credit to battery source requirements, which stipulates that critical minerals must be extracted and processed and recycled in the U.S. or in a country the U.S. has free trade with, which would be Mexico or Canada, makes this growing area for investors. The person who gets this resolved will be the next trillionaire for sure. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. If you have any comments or questions, because you always do, I'll be happy to answer. You can support me by buying me a cup of coffee. The link for that is in the description, plus all the links for our website, social media, book, and the podcast. I'm Lauren Fix. Thank you so much for watching.